In the summer of 1936, the world turned its eyes on the German capital of Berlin as the city was hosting the Olympic Games. Hitler and his fellow Nazis wanted to use the Olympics as a way of showing off Nazi grandeur and the supremacy of the Aryan race. The most famous non-Aryan to put a dent in the Nazi plans was the African-American Jesse Owens, who won four gold medals in both sprints and long jump. A lesser-known non-Aryan in the 1936 Olympics was the Jewish fencer Helene Mayer, representing no other than the host itself, Nazi Germany. Helene Mayer was born in 1910 in Offenbach, outside of Frankfurt, and already at an early age showed a remarkable talent for fencing. At age 13, barely a teenager, she won the German national championship. An achievement she would repeat for the next seven years. She also won the gold medal in the 1928 Olympics in Amsterdam and participated in the 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles where she finished fifth, after being notified only two hours before the competition, as she was preparing, that her boyfriend had died back in Germany during a military exercise. Despite her Jewish ancestry, she was a national hero in a Germany increasingly hostile to Jews. After the Los Angeles Olympics, Helene decided to stay in Southern California and enrolled as an exchange student at Scripps College in Claremont. In 1935 she was stripped of her German citizenship, but despite of that she returned to Germany in 1936 to participate in the Olympics as the only Jewish German athlete, after a special invitation from the Nazi sports leadership. This was highly controversial as Germany was being highly criticized in the international community for its treatment of Jews, and many was of the opinion that Helene was selected just to be Hitler's Jewish alibi and ease the criticism of the Nazi government. Helene did well and won the silver medal in women's foil fencing. The controversy surrounding Helene continued at the ceremony where the medalists were handed their medals. All three medalists had Jewish ancestry, and Helene shocked the Jewish community and a lot of other people by giving a Nazi salute. According to her own account she did this to protect her family members that was left in Germany and already interned in Nazi labor camps. Helene probably didn't have much choice. Not saluting Hitler was unthinkable for a German athlete at the time, as they and their families risked severe repercussions for disrespecting the Führer by keeping their right arm down. Helene left Berlin for the United States after the Olympics and returned to California to get her master's degree at UC Berkeley. She became an American citizen in 1941 and went on to become American fencing champion a staggering nine times in the 1930s and 40s before she moved back to Germany in 1952 and married her old friend, Erwin Faulkner von Sonnenberg. Helene Meyer died in Heidelberg on October 10 the following year from breast cancer. She was only 42 years old.